What's up, everybody? I am Chris from Kinesiology Chris. I think I am, at least. I uh, just wanted to kind of give you a video of me drawing the scapula bone. I thought that'd be kind of a fun thing and add a little content to the channel. I've not done any videos in probably th three years. Um, I'm getting back into it. I have three videos that are about 75-80% done. Um, just have to get them loaded onto the new computer and get going. Um, this is kind of a rough draft right now that you see on the screen. It's a blue outline. Just It's more or less for guidance um, than anything. Glenoid Fossa just got shaded in. You can see that darkest part. And then we shade it, and then I'm going to have darker ink on top. And we will start with the Glenoid Fossa again, which uh, I guess ends up being my nemesis in this video because I end up drawing it three different times because I don't like it all the times that I do draw it. There's the inferior angle, superior angle up there. And then I'm going to work on the spine of the scapula right in the middle. Uh, this video, you know, I'll go over a couple of the bony landmarks in this video just to keep it somewhat reviewable, I guess. To, you know, it's good to repeat things. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just drawing and shading. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Here I'm shading in the glenoid fossa. Again, this will be erased and redone, and then erased again and redone again. <laughs> Down here we're at the inferior angle, superior angle now. Holy crap, that was quick. Uh, this video took an hour and a half. Or, pff, I keep saying video. This picture took an hour and a half to do. Um, I compressed it into, I think, about nine minutes here. Uh, so it's running at 750% speed. I do not draw this fast. All right. There we're kind of shading in the supraspinatus fossa. Spinatus? Is that even spinatus? Supraspinous fossa. You know, I don't like how thick the lines are. It looked too cartoony, so I'm kind of taking those back. And Here we're on the chromium. We're going to take away the thick lines. And it actually turns out better to take away the thick lines because it kind of gives the lines that I did draw a rough kind of bony look because none of the lines are even and they're a little rough in different sections, which is good for a bone because no bones are alike. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, similar shapes, but... You'll never find two bones that are exactly the same. We're going to have little cracks and holes differently. Here we're going to think my second attempt at the glenoid fossa. Check it out my line because it's got to make it perfect. And... We will erase that because why not make the scap a little the lateral border a little longer there. So that's the lateral border. It, it kind of faces away from the midline. So th this is basically your shoulder in case you didn't know what we're working on now. The other direction. Towards the spine. Here we're shading in the chromium. Kind of get that going. Um, I was going to school for, I work in the therapy field. I was going to school and one of the classes was kinesiology. Uh, and I took a liking to it. And one day studying, I, I like to draw. I do it, even when I was studying, I would I'd draw a lot of the things and color them in as I went along. I literally had a, a book of every bone in the body. And I draw it and I color in the different sections. But they were really rough drawings. They're not like detailed drawings, but... I'd draw every single bone and I'd study it, I'd make cue cards, and even my notes would have about a thousand different highlights on it, and different colors. Um, so one day I was, I was studying and I got kind of bored of studying, so there was this animation program that I saw that they had like this demo thing for. And I picked it up and one of the subjects that it was kind of a hard concept to visualize was the con convex versus concave rule. So... Um, I wanted to learn how to animate, so I used that concept and tried to animate it. 
and that was the very first video I made. And I was shocked by how many views it was getting. I wasn't even getting that many views, but I was just, I didn't think 10 people would look at the thing more than anything. Um, I think to date it's got like 300,000 views now. Um, but it was my first video and I had like a $5 microphone. I had no idea um, how to animate, but I was trying. And believe it or not, I, I got so into it. That first video, because you're learning a new program, you don't, you know, you got to learn the different buttons and stuff. That first video actually took probably about 65 hours uh, to make. And obviously, um, I did that over the course of like two weeks. Whenever I'd get bored, I'd go back to that video and make it and do the voiceover, which didn't take too long. Um, it was fun. And, and then I started, you know, get onto it and then I'd make another video. And it's good. Every video, like, no two videos are the same. Like, I do every video in a different style. Like, one of my favorite videos I did was the anatomical position, which doesn't get a lot of views, but all that stuff, all those papers that you see him slide on there were actually all, all hand-drawn on normal paper, and then I had to scan them and animate them into the, the video. So, as he's talking about the anatomical position, he's sliding all these actual handheld papers into the video. So, I thought that was kind of cool. And I enjoyed making that. Um, and then, of course, the uh, Radius and Ona true story video was really cool because um, I had to basically make a story about bones. Um, and it was just amazing how some of it all like tied in together if anybody's actually watched the whole video. Um, there's actually an uh, Easter egg in there. There's an actual picture of me in that video hanging on a wall somewhere. So if you do watch that video, try to find that Easter egg. So here we're working on the supraspinatus fossa. Supra, because it's above the spine. Supra, above. Infra, below. Doing a little shading, give it a little definition so it gives it that fossa depth that you need. Which, by the way, I am uh, doing a Pony Landmarks videos of the different types, you know, the fossa, the processes, all that stuff, the notch. Just the different names and what they mean, and, and I'll try to tie it to something to make it easy to remember. For myself and for anybody else that wants to watch it. So, glenoid fossa. Don't like it. So I'm about to erase it again. Right now we're down at the inferior angle. Or a little bit above it. Inferior angle, now we're working on the lateral border. Now my mouse isn't moving. Hold on. There we go. Inferior angle, lateral border. This is where your armpit chills. Just kidding, but... It's near there. There we go. Let's erase it. Let's do it again. And actually, the third one that I end up finishing with, I still don't like because from this angle that that you're looking at with what I'm drawing, it you shouldn't be able to see the entire glenoid fossa, but I felt like I wanted to just make it clear. So you should only see about 75% of it, I guess. Um, it should be a little higher. So when I when I do the scapula video, I actually probably do a new one and um, have the glenoid fossa a little higher. But that's why I always do a practice run of drawing it, so that you get a better feel of what you want to do and don't have to start over at the end there. All right, I'm content with that for now. Do a little shading on the spine of the scapula. Give that wing look that it has. Like your little bird wing, like you see, you be a bat. Put little bone dots there. A little texture. Now we're working on the medial border. There's a little ridge that goes into that infraspinous fossa there. A little depth to it. More bone dots. Dot, 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 line, 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 dot, 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 line, line, line. 
It's exciting stuff, I know. Now we're back to the spine of the scapula. That's the del del deltoid tubercle, I believe. Do more shading on the spine. All right, more shading. Now we're starting to do the actual shading, which gives it real good depth. Um, I am making a coloring book. Um, I got about 10 pages done out of 50. Um, again, I kind of put it off for a while, but I'm going to start grinding on it again. I got a a computer I can actually take at work and work on things at lunchtime now. Whereas before I'd, you know, come home late and be kind of pooped and tired and didn't want to really do any animating or drawing. But now at work I can do it on my lunch break and, and draw things and get some things accomplished. I work for a living. And now we're putting some dots, give it a little bit more bone-like feel. Take a look at it from far away to get a feel for it. It looks decent. The thing I really don't like on it is the glenoid fossa. The superior angle is a little flat. It should be a little bit sharper. I like the scapula notch and the quercoid process. Nice cartoony. I mean, I could use that. I mean, everybody would get the picture and then kind of just flip it around. Anyways, just want to do a quick video for you, talk a little bit, yap, and um, I look forward to uh, post some more videos here in the next uh, week or two. I'm going to try to keep them coming. Till then, happy studying, my friends.